the fill feature connects boundary edges to create surface geometry. Deciding on whether to use boundary surface, loft, or fill feature depends on the application. The boundary surface and loft features require four sides to the boundaries, whereas the fill feature can utilize as many boundary segments as needed. This is especially useful when holes and gaps with several surfaces must be patched with a single feature. A loft or boundary surface provide more control and result in higher quality surfaces. The fill surface feature can be used to repair imported models, patch the area of a model that contains complex geometry, or simply enclose a surface model to create a solid part. To create a surface with the fill feature, the sections must have fully connected edges that form a single chain. Start a new fill feature. Select the edges of a part, surface, sketched, or 3D curve. As each entity is selected, two red dots indicate the start and end of the selected boundary chain. To create a surface, the boundary must be completely closed. If not, the red dots remain visible in the graphics area. Pay close attention to these indicators. In some situations, a small interruption in the boundary prevents a closed chain. As a best practice, use the Create Selection option. Under the Edges tab, select Loop Chain Connected to quickly select the entire boundary. Select Add Selection. Once the boundary has been completely closed, the red dots are removed from the graphics area. A fill surface can still be created if a portion of a boundary completes a chain but does not stop where it connects to other entities. The new option creates a new surface and is visible in the parts list under Surfaces. Add adds the surface to other surfaces defined in the Merge Scope. Select Match Position, Tangency, or Curvature in the Continuity dropdown to set boundary conditions. If the portion of the boundary is a sketch entity and the option to match tangency is selected, Onshape respects the direction normal to that sketch plane. Interior edges, 3D fit splines, projected curves, and bridging curves can only match position. A composite curve can be used to match tangency or curvature, only when edges of a surface have created the curve. Onshape analyzes the underlying surfaces that form the composite curve and can match the appropriate continuity. When choosing position, the fill surface maintains G0 continuity to the surrounding geometry. Choosing tangency ensures G1 continuity, and matching curvature ensures G2 continuity. When tangency or curvature are selected, apply finer control by specifying adjacent faces. A guide for the fill feature is similar to a guide for a loft feature for manipulating the surface geometry. Use curves or vertices as guides. Using vertices as a guide, the surface passes through those points while satisfying the boundary conditions. Using curves as a guide, the surface geometry accurately follows specific or sample points along the curve. Precise follows the guide curve exactly as defined. Sample takes a sampled number of points that follow the curve the fill surface passes through. This option is helpful if the fill surface is heavily constrained. For this reason, sampled may be used to loosen the constraints for the guides and results in a smoother surface. The number of sampling points can be changed by increasing or decreasing the sample size. Check show ISO curves to evaluate the flow of the filled surface visually. Adjust the count value to increase or decrease the amount of curves displayed. In this example, a surface will be used to close the opening. To begin, three construction surfaces have been created representing the top, front, and right constraints. This first technique uses the fill surface to fill the area while matching tangency to each construction surface. After the surface is mirrored twice and curvature visualization is turned on, we can see a smooth transition between each surface. Another technique for approaching this feature is to use a fill surface feature with guides. In this example, three sketches on separate planes have been created to add additional constraints to the filled surface. Same as before, each construction surface has been selected with the proper continuity. The Show ISO Curves option and Curvature Visualization has been enabled as a visual aid for constructing the surface. Next, the checkbox for guides is enabled 
and each guide is selected from the graphics area. Using this technique provides more control over the filled area and can be fine-tuned by adjusting the guides. In this example, a lofted surface will be used to close the opening. As a reminder, a surface loft is best suited for rectangular patches. Otherwise, a singularity will form at profile points. In some situations, users will intentionally create a surface loft that forms a singularity with the intent to remove the affected area later in the design. First, the loft is created while matching tangency to each construction surface. The surface is mirrored twice that forms a cone-shaped feature. After close inspection of the surface quality, with curvature visualization enabled, an anomaly can be seen at the center of the model. This is referred to as a singularity. To repair this feature, a sketch is created on the top plane and is used to split the affected area. Next, the split surfaces are removed with the delete face feature. A fill surface is then applied to patch the affected area while applying the appropriate continuity to each selection. Next, a guide will need to be applied to help control the filled surface. The initial sketch used to create the profiles for the loft is made visible, and the vertex where the two profiles meet is selected as a guide. After enabling show isocurves, a smooth, uniform patch can be seen in the graphics area. This image shows a side-by-side -side comparison before and after the repair. The model on the left represents the lofted surface with the singularity visible at the center of the model. The model on the right represents the repaired surface. After comparing these two models, the repaired model shows a smoother transition to adjacent surfaces and the surface imperfection has been removed.